yes okay so in the previous class we have discussed about uh, how to write regular expressions for uh, given uh, language right today we are going to look how we can convert a finite automata to a regular expression if a finite automata is given uh, are we able to convert it to a regular expression and how we can convert a finite automata to regular expression now this is required because we have said that both finite automata and regular expression represent the same set of languages known as the regular languages right so suppose a finite automata is given and you have to convert it to a regular expression uh, we need to use make use of the ardens theorem that we have uh, studied in uh, previous lecture okay okay so now suppose this uh, finite automata is given you need to form equations from this finite automata and then on those equations you need to apply ardens theorem so how to form these equations so equations will be formed for all the states so which states are given for all states you would write certain equation based on the transitions that are coming towards those states right like we are having state q1 so we would uh, write all the transitions from the state which it is coming and on what symbol it is coming like we are talking about q1 now so q1 is an initial state first thing right so epsilon must be there okay along with epsilon you need to write the rules that are coming towards q1 right so from q1 on input a there is a transition to q1 itself so you would write it in this way that is from q1 on a i reach q1 itself right so q1 on the left hand side for that is the state for which we are writing the equation so q1 is equals to how you can reach q1 q from uh, q1 if you get a a you reach q1 so from q1 on a i reach q1 right what is the other possibility of reaching q1 from uh, to reach q1 you can be in q2 and in q2 if you get a b you reach q1 right so from q2 on getting a b uh, we reach to q1 right and as q1 is a initial state initially we don't need any input symbol to reach q1 that means on epsilon we can reach q1 as it is a initial state so we need to add epsilon right so these are three different options or three different possibilities through which you can reach q1 so we have a union them we have written them as q1 a plus q2 b plus epsilon so these are the three possibilities through which you can reach q1 similarly we can write equations for q2 and q3 so for q2 you have two input transitions that is from q2 on b you reach q2 and from q1 on a you reach q2 and the third possibility is that is from q3 on a you reach q2 so there are three possibilities through which you can reach q2 so we write the equation for q2 in this form q2 is equals to q1 a plus q2 b plus q3 a right so this is the equation for q2 similarly we write the equation for the last state that is q3 and you can see that there is only a single transition that is coming inwards to q3 so we can write this as q3 equals to q2a because on q2 if you get a a you reach q3 so the only possibilities of reaching q3 is through q2 so the equation is q3 equals to q2a right so we have obtained these equations now by using ardens theorem and substitution method we would be obtaining a expression in terms of a and b that is in terms of terminal for the final state right so for final state we have q3 equals to q2a but we want that in place of q2 you should have some expression in terms of a and b only right so that would be our regular expression which would be representing the finite automata okay so for this what we'll do we'll do some substitutions okay so the first substitution that we'll do we will put q3 into q2 okay so this value of q3 that is q2a will be put into q2 equals to this equation okay so when we put this q3 in this equation we get a equation as q2 equals to q1a plus q2b and in place of this q3 we are putting q2a so it would be q2aa okay now we have obtained this equation and from here you can see that we have used identities rule so we will also make use of identity rules to reduce these equations 
uh, right so you can take this q2 as common from this and you can form an expression in the form r equals to q plus rp uh, form right that is the ardens theorem form so q2 uh, is taken as common from this two part and we are left with q2 is equals to q1a plus q2 is taken as common and the remaining part is b plus aa so this is the uh, according to distributive property okay so we have taken r as common so it is b uh, sorry q2 as common so it is left with b plus aa okay now if you look at this equation it is of the form r equals to p plus rq right uh, sorry q plus rp okay and uh, so we have the equation in the form r equals to q plus rp okay and the solution to e this equation is nothing but we know that according to ardens theorem if we have equation of the form r equals to q plus rp the solution to this is unique solution which is nothing but q p star so q is q1 a and p is b plus a a so we have the answer solution to it as q2 is equals to q1 a bracket b plus a a star right a closure okay so this is by applying ardens theorem okay and ardens theorem says that if there is a equation of regular expression which is of the form r equals to q plus rp and solution to this is r equals to qp star so we have obtained value of q2 now but it is again in terms of q1 we cannot directly put over here and get a equation for q3 so now we have value for q2 which is in terms of q1 so we will put this value of q2 in equation 1 that is q1 okay so if we put this in uh, 1 we'll get the following equation so in q1 we'll get q1 equals to q1a plus in place of q2 we are putting this particular expression so we get q1a in bracket b plus aa the whole star dot b the remaining part and plus epsilon right now again if you look at this we again can apply distributive property and uh, make it uh, q1 take q1 as common and uh, the expression would look like this now so q1 will be equals to q1 plus a uh, q1 into uh, bracket in bracket a plus a in bracket b plus a a the whole star dot b bracket close plus epsilon right now this is again in the form of ardens theorem uh, right so that is q plus rp so we can write it in this way like as this is in the form r equals to q plus rp right either you write uh, some uh, a plus b or b plus a both are same so this is epsilon plus q1 into this right so this is of the form r equals to q plus rp and we know that the solution to this is nothing but qp star so your p is this part over here and q is epsilon epsilon dot anything is the same thing so we get a value for q1 as uh, a plus a in bracket b plus a a star b and the whole star right so this is what we get for q1 and now we have equation for q1 in terms of a and b only so we'll put this in q3 uh, or rather first we'll put it in q2 uh, the value of q2 was here so we have q1 in a and b form we put replace this q1 in q2 so we get a equation for q2 as uh, a plus a in bracket b plus a a star b the whole star dot the remaining part that is a in bracket b plus a a the whole star right so this is a value for q2 in terms of a and b only right so so we can put this q2 in q3 and get an expression o in a and b for q3 so we get the expression as in bracket uh, a plus a in bracket b plus a a star b the whole star concatenated with a b in bracket b plus a a the whole star dot a the remaining a right and this is the expression which is required in for q3 so if you get a expression over a and b in for the final state then we say that this is the uh, required regular expression for the given finite automata right uh, because we'll find a regular expression only for final state right i hope this